Okay, okay, I know, you're like, what? Why? Let me explain. If we compare painting in general to medicine or healthcare, then cabinet painting or refinishing would be like a surgery of some kind. And let me ask you a question. Would you perform a surgery on yourself or on any of your family members? I know it's a crazy example, but anyways, you get the point, right? So if you're still wondering, what's the big deal? Stay tuned to this video. All right, here I am, just got to the job site. So we have all of these cabinet doors and we're gonna spray one side of the door, the back side of the door, and then wait for it to dry and then flip it over, spray the other side and also spray the rest of the cabinets, the boxes, all the panels in place. We have the setup in-house right here we have our spray stand set up we have the fans the air filtration so there is no spray dust no mist in the air and we have our spray the drying rack set up so everything is ready we're good to go again safety is super important that is why we're using this Tyvex suits spray suits and masks with charcoal filters on them Quick note here, obviously it's a final stage of the process, we're spraying the final coat. If you'd like to see the full process of cabinet refinishing, I'll link it somewhere around this video or leave it in the description down below. And uh, let's get back to the field. On this job, we're running an air-assisted airless machine, also called air mix, which is basically a pressurized material using airless technology nicely atomized with a little bit of air supplied to the gun at the same time. And by using this system we get both production value and awesome finish. Very important note right here, spray pattern. It's extremely important if you don't want to have any runs, sags, or any missing spots. That's the pattern that I think works the best and it gives us very nice and even coverage. I always make sure that I dial in my gun so I don't have to do more than one pass. And for me, the key is in shooting the edges at a 45 degree angle, all of the edges all around, And then we shoot the rest of the panel straight down. To make sure that there is no missing spots, I do 50% overlap. And then I spray my last edge. The rest is pretty simple. Rinse and repeat until the entire rack is sprayed. And I will mention another thing. We always start from the top of the rack and work our way down. And the reason for that is we don't want to create any dust on top of the freshly sprayed doors and so that dust doesn't get into the wet surface. Another important thing right here, the product that we use for the final coat. It's an Italian product called Milesi. It's a polyurethane enamel. It's a two component, two component water-based polyurethane. In 24 hours it's completely dry and when it's cured I believe it's 48 hours and it's completely cured there's gonna be no off gassing no bad smell nothing at all and it's all water based so we can spray in the house super nice super easy no no health related issues it's definitely not a sponsored message but just wanted to give a huge shout out to the guys to Italian guys and to everybody who's bringing this beautiful uh, line of products to Canada and North America in general. Hundreds of people, hundreds of chemists working on 
improving the quality of the material all the time. It's one of the biggest companies and they're working on improving the quality, uh, durability, dry time, and obviously health related issues. All right, now let's get to the job site. All right, it's time to spray the boxes. I'd say the most important thing here is to mask off as much as possible. So we did try to do our best. We protected the floors with two layers of protection, which is RAM board, that uh, thick cardboard and additional waterproof layer underneath. And then we masked off pretty much everything. All the boxes, the stove, the fridge, everything. And a quick tip here, before you mask off the stove, make sure you unplug it just in case. As you can see, I'm using masking paper for the most part. And the reason for that is plastic doesn't seem to hold the primer much. And thus, when it's dry and when we spray our final coat, it might flake off and get stuck into the finish. As a general rule, I always spray from one side to the other, from top to bottom. And here I'm finishing up the bottom cabinets. All right, guys. So we got everything sprayed on one side and we also sprayed all the boxes. Okay, so we're gonna let them dry and we're gonna come back and see how they're doing. But by the way, very important thing, since we're using 2K poly, which is, uh, you know, catalyzed polyurethane, we have to clean our gun and the sprayer, the entire system, you know, all the time, because the pot life is only two hours. And I'll show you how to clean it. All right, this is my guy. The Sigola Air Assisted Airless System. It uses air, no electricity at all so the pump basically works using the air from the same compressor and by the way we don't need a huge compressor to run the pump it's just a smaller california air tools i believe it's four gallon compressor and this is the air hose that supplies air to the gun where all the magic happens and the pressurized material gets mixed with a little bit of air coming out of the gun. All right, and here's how we clean it. I run some clean water through the system, preferably warm. I run it until it's completely clean, maybe a gallon or two, and then I mix some soluble acetone with water. The ratio is somewhere about 50-50. And then I run it through the system until it's clean, sometimes I recycle the same um, acetone mixed with water just to make sure that there's no particles left in the system and it's completely clean and then sometimes when i leave my material a little bit longer like somewhere closer to two hours or so then i can run pure acetone through the system to make sure it's clean before we move on to the next job i dump all of the acetone so it doesn't stay in the spray lines and this is the gun that comes in the set with that Sigola system. I love it so far. Maybe I will do a quick review on one of my next videos. All right, and then we started spraying the face side of the doors. And this is what we always do. We spray the back side first, and then we spray the face and leave the doors facing up overnight so it dries completely before we put everything back together. And here's a few lovely close-up shots. I always enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy it too. Mission accomplished. Pretty happy with that. It is possible to do two coats on the same day. Uh, the doors, you know, don't seem to be sticky. Like they don't seem to stick to the uh, to the drying rack, so it seems to be working pretty good. 
I'm really happy with the results. Water-based stuff really works. And we're moving on to my favorite part of the video, before and after shots. Let's start with the after. It's super hard to show how nice it feels through the video, but I hope you guys see that reflection there. And I also tried to scratch it really hard, no signs of scratches at all, super durable stuff. Hope you guys find this video helpful, as always happy to answer any of your questions. And uh, please consider subscribing to the channel and smashing that like button only if you like the video guys. Alright, with that being said, thanks so much for watching and as always, we'll see you on the next one.